Hello, everybody. Welcome back to Being the Odds. It is Wednesday, November 8th, 2023, and we are back with our NBA best bets of the day. If you're new to the channel, my name is Zach, and welcome to Being the Odds. Hit that subscribe button, like this video, hit the notification bell so you never miss a pick. We post these NBA videos every single day, along with the NFL, college football, and college basketball, and the NHL. Uh, we're going after our first 15,000 subscribers, our first nine months on YouTube. Really excited to have you all here. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. So to recap, uh, Monday's results, since the NBA didn't play on Tuesday, weird, but whatever. Um, we went, we had a winning day. Went three and two. Uh, we had Pacers minus eight and a half. That was a winner. Um, easy winner, by the way. Members only best bet. Easy winner. We had Magic money line. They blew it. Uh, Heat money line minus 118. Winner. Hope we took the money line, not the minus one and a half. I told you all that on YouTube. Uh, Knicks plus one and a half. Got a lot of hate for that one. Dub, easy, double digit win. And then the Hawks minus three and a half. I wouldn't have bet them if SGA played, just wouldn't have done it. Um, he was he was listed as out when I recorded, and then he was upgraded to questionable throughout the day, and then all that stuff. So a lot of y'all didn't bet this one, but I bet it, so I gotta add it to the record. So overall, three and two would have been three and one if we just didn't, if we knew SGA was playing. Uh 32 and 24 for the season, pretty profitable so far. And we have five picks today in the NBA. I have three of which I'm going to give you guys here on YouTube today. I have two in the members only. I also have three other members only plays today across the other sports that I absolutely love. You can get this at zdmbets.com slash picks. As a member, you get all of our members only plays sent to you every single day with our profitable best bet plays. On top of that, you have a direct line to me. So any game you're considering bank, reach out to our hotline number, get a guarantee response back. But any game you're considering betting and all of our free picks you do on YouTube are sent to you before these videos come out. That we take advantage of early lines, early odds. Again, the website zdmbets.com slash picks, zdmbets.com slash picks, zdmbets.com slash picks. So let's get into the plays that we have today. I'm going to get started with our first free play, which is going to be the Heat minus two versus the Grizzlies. The Grizzlies without John Morant might be the worst team in the league. They are so bad. And the Heat are going to catch their stride a little bit. That was a big win against the Lakers because they were reeling. They did not look good, the Heat did. And they got a big win. They needed it at home. Now, they're going to go on the road against a bad team. I see them here cleaning up. Jimmy and Bam's going to play because of Heat culture. And if they do, they're going to win this game. Desmond Bain's a great player, but he does not look the same without Ja. Um, Jaron Jackson Jr. is just a foul machine. Like, he's a great player, but he gets in foul trouble early. And if they can get if they get Jaron Jackson Jr. in foul trouble, there's no, it is just a free run straight to the rim. There's no one to stop him. I'm going to go Heat minus two here versus the Grizzlies. Next, we go Rockets plus two and a half versus the Lakers. This one's disgusting, but I really like it. Uh, they're getting points at home. That's the first thing. And really the biggest thing about this game is, is how healthy is Anthony Davis and is he even going to play? If he does play, how, like, how effective is he going to be? That hip issue, listen, a hip issue on a big man's a big deal. I think they're underplaying it in like LA. They're just saying like, you know, it's not that bad. It's bad. Hips on hips on seven footers, anything lower body on seven footers, that's a serious problem. And even if he does play, how long is he going to play? There's going to be a minutes restriction. There's a lot of things that we don't know right now um, about this game. And the Rockets have some talent. They've added um, Fred Van Vliet. They have you know they they, they have Ime Udoka, which I think he's a fantastic coach. Not even, no one even really knows what he did wrong in Boston to get fired. There's rumors, but no one really freaking knows. And even if he did sleep with someone like that it wasn't his wife, I mean it's the NBA. They do this all the time. No one's getting fired for that. Um, don't really agree with it but hey like that that's what happens so i'm not really sure about that but the rockets plus two and a half here have tremendous value jalen green's a good offensive player um fred fan Vliet's fantastic and they have some good young talent across ac across the front line with um with sangoon and jabari smith so i'm gonna roll J the rockets here plus two and a half this just feels like a game the lakers are gonna sleepwalk through and then last year we're gonna take the timberwolves minus seven and a half versus the pelicans no way that cj mccollum will play tonight after his diagnosis that really fucking sucks by the way i mean that that, that really blows it's gonna be a hit for the team just in general and that's why i'm gonna go with the t-wolves here um um, Herb, hopefully, hopefully it gets better, obviously, with speedy recovery. Um, Herb Brooks and Brandon Ingram are also out. So is Alvarado. The only player that's actually playing for the Pelicans is Zion, which is like the funniest thing of all time. Um, he'll be out soon, though. Don't worry. He'll, get, he'll, eat, he'll eat too many Popeye's biscuits and become um, a tight end really quick in the name of, um, you know, just quoting Booger McFarland. But... You know, they're, they're going to be very short-handed, the Pelicans are. Uh, the T-Wolves at home have been very, very impressive. They have the guys who run them off the floor today. Anthony Edwards, Mike Conley. Um, if Cat Carl Anthony Towns can just not be a fucking moron, then we'll be good because he's got talent, but he's an idiot. And Rudy Gobert is a good defensive player. No, don't get him involved in offense, good on defense. So I really like the backcourt for the T-Wolves. The Pelicans are just too short-handed today, and the T-Wolves are at home. I'm going to roll with them here. 
Now, like I said, we do we have two members only plays in the NBA as well as three others across the other sports. You get this at ZDNBets.com slash picks. Website links in the comments below. But a quick recap what we have. We have Heat minus two versus the Grizzlies. We have Rockets plus two and a half versus the Lakers. And we have the T-Wolves minus seven and a half versus the Pelicans. So let's go lock in those picks. Let's go win together today. Let's go make some money. I'll see you all tomorrow. Make sure y'all check those other videos.